How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and today we're going to talk about my top 5 ways to overpower your brand new character. The main criteria for this list is that they can be done with a brand new character, only need wood and items found from surface pots and chests, and can be done before any bosses are killed in your world. With that said, let's get started. To start our list we have a simple trick that allows you to kill the King Slime without taking a single hit. The King Slime provides a range of useful early game equipment such as the Gel Hook and Slime Saddle and it's super easy to farm. To easily kill the King Slime, simply travel to the outer thirds of the map, find a nice flat area and build a rope 28 blocks high in the air and simply wait. During the day, each slime has a 1 in 300 chance of becoming the King Slime. Also note the King Slime can only spawn in forest biomes and areas that have grass on them. You can easily kill it with a wooden bow and fire arrows, or to speed things up further, place a thin layer of lava underneath your rope and let it do the work for you. With only a few bombs, you can quickly acquire some powerful items and weapons and that's why Shadow Orbs and Crimson Hearts are number 4 on our list. To do this risky strategy, firstly grab a few bombs from surface pots and chests and then find your nearest corruption or crimson. Use ropes and platforms to help you quickly descend into the underground and use wood to block mobs trying to get you along the way. The first orb you smash always contains a gun and ammo, which allows the arms dealer to move in. Break as many as you wish, as there's many items to collect. Don't worry about the boss spawning as you can manually summon it later anyway. Acquiring some of the most powerful pre-hard mode tools can be done with minimal preparation and that's why the Reaver and Sawtooth Sharks are at number 3 on our list. To catch them all you need is some enchanted nightcrawlers which are made from worms and fallen stars and a reinforced fishing pole. Once you've got them, make your way to the ocean biome. This gives you a 1 in 100 chance of catching the Reaver and Sawtooth Sharks with each cast of your fishing line. You'll also catch lots of helpful crates while you're waiting. So make a little safety box and enjoy fishing the day away. As we approach the end of our list, we're getting to some truly powerful tips. At number 2 we find the ridiculously powerful weapons that are accessible right from the start of the game. These are the Enchanted Sword, the Arcalis, Water Bolt and the Star Fury. Enchanted swords are found in sword shrines that spawn naturally along the surface of your world and are identified by their long narrow vertical shafts which the player simply needs to dig down to access the shrine. Each shrine has a 33% chance of spawning either an enchanted sword or rarely an Arcalis. Water bolts can appear near the entrance to the dungeon and are identified as a blue book with a yellow band on the spine and they sit on dungeon shelves. The Dungeon Guardian will spawn after you reach a certain depth and kill you instantly, but you'll be able to check out many shelves before this occurs. The Star Fury spawns in Skyware chests on floating islands. You can find them simply by building wooden platforms up into the sky and then horizontally until you bump into an island, or by grabbing a gravitation potion from pots in the cavern layer. These weapons can easily carry you through most of pre-hard mode and are well worth collecting. My number one tip for becoming ridiculously overpowered with a new character is to rapidly acquire the Meteor Set and Space Gun. You can do this in just a few easy steps. Firstly, gather 10 to 30 bombs from pots and surface chests. Next, make your way to the Corruption or Crimson and use the bombs to access the orbs or hearts. Each one you destroy gives you a 50% chance to spawn a meteorite at midnight. You will also get either the Musket or Undertaker. Once the meteorite spawns, build wooden platforms over the crash site and use your bombs to quickly mine up the ore. The musket or undertaker you acquired earlier from the orbs or hearts allows you to easily fend off the meteor heads. It only takes 190 meteorite ore to craft the meteor armor and space gun. This combo will carry you through the entire pre-hard mode. So there you have it folks, 5 easy ways to massively overpower your brand new character within a few easy steps. What are your favourite ways to overpower your new characters? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. Here's the most important part as always, you all stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya!
No! Oh, why did I go down? Why did I leave the boss? Life was good. <laughs> I could have just killed the boss and lived like a king. Oh, guys. It's getting low. It's getting low, but it is shooting like a crazy bee. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, get out. Lorenzo. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to get out of a secret base. <laughs> oh, bunny! <laughs> no! <laughs>